It wasn't like I'm not holding auditions or anything for his next wife. <laughs> Katie Davidson has terminal cancer. She jokes about holding auditions to find her husband another wife when she dies, but it's not far from the truth. Not long ago, she shared this tweet, terminal wife seeking future wife for widower husband. If I could somehow look, look over or bless a relationship sometime in his future, of course I would want that. I just want him to be happy. At 26, Davidson was diagnosed with breast cancer. After initially fending it off, she later found out it had spread to her bones and it was terminal. Despite the news, Katie has bigger concerns. I mean, it's terrible that my parents have to bury their youngest. Like, my number one concern is Keith because he has even less of a choice than I do. And I feel like once I die, he's left to pick up the pieces. Davidson says despite many questions about her decision to tweet about her search for a new wife, she remains open to the idea. Be flattered if there was auditions. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Katie's husband Keith lost his father to lung cancer just 10 weeks before the two were married. He says he was surprised by Katie's tweet, but doesn't have any time to worry about it right now. I'm going to play that card when that hand is dealt. Um, until then, I'm just going to try to enjoy the time I have with Katie. That's Heather's birthday. Katie and Keith are taking life one day at a time. Speaking about death so openly may seem dark to some, but for Davidson, it's comforting. I'm very open about talking about death, and that freaks a lot of people out. You know, like I hear a lot of things like I've planned my own funeral and I did that by myself. That doesn't bother me because it kind of gives me a sense of control in a very powerless situation. After speaking with Katie, she was adamant that I not say that she's fighting or battling cancer. She believes that kind of language paints her as a fighter, someone with control over the situation, something she doesn't have. The two say they have not received any serious responses to the tweet yet. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.